How's it going everybody? I'm Grim Cheese and welcome to a uh, bit of a different video today. I just wanted to uh, talk with you guys and catch up. I know I haven't been uh, recording a lot lately. Life's been really busy and uh, I'll get into all that later but for now I wanted to show you guys a few things that I uh, splurged on myself a little bit uh, lately. Uh, it's been Jurassic Park's 30th anniversary. It's been Jurassic Park's 30th anniversary. Fuck. It's been Jurassic Park's 30th anniversary. Happy 30th anniversary, Jurassic Park. Uh, I went out and got a few things. I got this uh, Hawaiian shirt uh, from Target with uh, Jurassic Park logo and the Raptors. Uh, and then my friends down in Florida who live near Universal went there and got me uh, this Welcome to Easel Nublar shirt. They also got me another shirt that's green that has uh, the um, pixelated characters from the Super Nintendo, the T-Rex and everything on there. It's really cool. I forgot to grab it uh, to show you guys, but I have that. Uh, this Jurassic Park or a Tyrannosaurus necklace I've actually had for a long time now. The last time I went to visit my two friends down in Florida for the Jurassic Park 3D release, we went to Universal and watched it all together. Uh, my friends Nora and Jess, and uh, they got me these shirts. Uh, I got this the last time I was down there. And uh, the last time I was down there, I also had a Jurassic Park mug. I can't remember if they got it for me, if I got it myself while I was down there with them, but I cherished it. It was a great memory. Um, I also got the T-Rex skull you see up there at the same time from Universal when I went to go down to see the 3D movie. But anyways, I had a mug down there, a Jurassic Park mug. Uh, this one, actually. Uh, but the handle broke off just a few months ago, and I was distraught. And I would I, ke I kept it around even though the handle was broke. Uh, but then Nora and Jess messaged me like last week and like, hey, we're going down to Universal for the 30th anniversary celebration. Do you want anything? And I was like... You guys read my mind, uh, and I had told them about my mug broke from last time I was down there with them, so they, they went and got me a new mug with the Dress Park logo, and there's a glow-in-the-dark Tyrannosaur skeleton on the back, and then they got me the two shirts as well, so lots of love to Nora and Jess. I love you guys. Thank you for getting me these. I fucking love my mug. Oh, yeah. It tastes even better in that mug. Don't ask me why. Um, I also, you notice I'm wearing my, my, my Muldoon hat, which I'm about to show you why right now. Um, I went out to Best Buy to, uh, get a new, a, uh, USB because I'm getting a lot of backup for our, you know, a lot of, uh, storage backed up from my, um, videos and I'm doing everything now and I wanted to, didn't want to delete them. I wanted to move them over somewhere in case I ever needed them again. But while I was there, I found a Robert Muldoon figure. I already opened it. He's not in here, <laughs> which... Uh, I realize I should. I probably should have opened it on camera or something. But here he is. He was right here. I have him up here next to the Jurassic Park Trespasser video game, uh, right next to the Raptor. You know, on the cover, it was, I thought was appropriate. But here he is. Got my little Muldoon with his shotgun. His his finger even fits perfectly into the trigger. It's amazing. I absolutely love this. Muldoon is one of my favorite characters, and Muldoon gets a lot of hate. I know you're all thinking out there, but Muldoon didn't do anything. He died to the Raptors, like, immediately. He was a hero, I'll tell you. He sacrificed himself so that everybody... If he did not do what he did and notice that the Raptors were even hunting him and Ellie to begin with and went off on his own, him and Ellie would have been mauled by the Raptors. Power never would have came on to the rest of the island. They would not have been able to use the phones to call the mainland and bring in the chapters. No one would have been rescued. Raptors and T-Rex would have gotten everybody. It was all because of Muldoon, Muldoon realizing that they were being hunted and went off on his own to give Ellie time to go in there and turn on the power. If he not would not have done that, they all would have died. So Robert Muldoon, he's a hero. His sacrifice, let everybody else live. You all remember that. Show a little respect. You know, try to show a little respect. Okay. Okay. For the hat. The amazing hat and shotgun. He's gonna go right back up there <laughs> next next to Hold on. Balancing issues. There you go. He is very loosely balanced up there. He has he has like no balance. I have him like leaning I have him leaning on the bookshelf for support. I know you guys can't really see it too well. My camera can't zoom unless it gets super pixelated. I only have a webcam, so I apologize for the camera quality. So you'll just have to imagine what he looks like up there next to uh the uh <laughs> the raptor head coming out of the trespasser game i think i feel like that's a perfect spot for him uh but i got that i was super excited i noticed that 
Uh, they had a few other characters, like Dr. Arnold, uh, which I wasn't able to get. I was just low on money at the time. I wanted to get all of them. Uh, but they didn't have Grant or Ellie. Uh, but I noticed there was a few for Arnold, Nedry, and uh, Malcolm. But the only one I was able to get at the time was Muldoon. So he's just going to have to be up there by himself. But that's okay. I'm, I'm fine with him. So I wore my hat today with him, because, which I would like to actually start wearing more. I love this hat. I don't know if I can actually pull it off or what you guys think. I don't care. I love this hat. Uh, the only reason I don't wear it more for videos is because I, Little Bird freaks out. I actually don't have him in the room with here me with me right now because he freaks the hell out when I put on this hat. He starts screaming. He won't stop. So he's just hanging out, chilling in the living room on his birdie perch, eating some seed right now while I do this video. Uh, maybe I need to wear it around the house more for him to get used to it, but uh, right now he he's freaked out by it. Uh, but that's not all I got. I also went down to a uh, collector shop called Operation Fandom in Medina, and uh, I found Jurassic Park movie cards. My father, uh, before he passed, got me a few of these when I was a kid, when I was like five, maybe younger, and put them in a binder for me. And they were one of my most cherished possessions that I have. I never knew where we got them. I never seen them again after that. I had never seen these cards before. Uh, but I finally found them at this collector shop, and I thought I'd get a few and uh, open them with you guys because um, they hold a special place in my heart. And... Uh, yeah, I just figured I'd share that with you guys. Okay. Hmm. I, I really like this. Um, I didn't think I'd ever find these cards. Uh, first one we have is uh, Grant and the kids up in the treetop, um, which I really love. Um, Back when I was in kindergarten, there was these two trees out right outside of our recess area um, that the roots would grow up above the ground and they'd crisscross and mash. And when I was in kindergarten, it always reminded me of this tree and I would sit in the center of them pretending like I'm them uh, in the treetops and I'd talk with my friends in the middle of those roots and just hang out there. And I'd do that every day at kindergarten and at recess. Um, another special memory of mine. I'm so glad I have these. Um, and on the back of the card is the uh, them feeding the Brachiosaur. I'm sorry you guys can't really see that too well. I know my monitors are glaring back through the camera. Uh, there's not much I can do about that. I have, um, I, yeah, like, I, there's not much I, can, I don't think I can do about that. Um, on, I think these are a little backwards. Okay. Um, a few of the cards have like pieces of the raptor or dilophosaur on the back of them. I think if you collect enough, you're able to you know, make the whole picture, I think is maybe what they're doing there. I'm not sure. But I remember because I have a few in my binder that have, I think the dilophosaur and maybe one of the raptor on there. I'll have to put them together and see if I can make a whole picture. Uh, but on the back of that, I got to remember to keep it up on camera is, sorry, I know how to heart a card. There's the Tyrannosaur, which I, I love, but why the hell does it say by bi caution biohazard? What? Biological hazard, authorized personnel. Why would she be a biological and like maybe? No, I mean, I guess no, no, that's odd. I love. I have a T Rex card though. That's I like that. And then we have. Oh, I really like this. I like the. I have one more of these. I think of the Brachiosaur in my old collection that my dad got me. Uh, our artist rendition of the uh, dinosaur is this one of the Triceratops. I really like these a lot. I think those might be my favorite. That and the uh, any any um, uh, card containing scenes for the uh, dress of uh, with dress bar, with the tyrannosaur escaping is my favorite. Hands down, the best scene in the whole movie. Not they're all they're all a banger. All every single every scene is a banger in that movie. Oh, my phone. Scam call. Don't need that. Uh, every scene in that movie is a banger, but that one specifically always uh, rings out in my mind whenever I think Dress Park is that um, T-Rex scene saving. But here we have the kids hiding behind the kitchen counters from the raptors. Back of the card, kids, just a closer up look at the kids. Uh, I'm not going to read what there says in the back. I just kind of, there's, there's a lot of cards. I want to get through them all. Um, I'll read those later to myself. And Ooh, there we go. We got a scene of the T-Rex chowing down on the card. The, the car. 
in the card. Them again, him again hovering over the, the vehicle looking at Grant looks like. Whoop. Hammond with the hatchling. Back of them card get, getting the tour from my boy Muldoon um, at the Raptor. Raptor pen. Paddock. Uh, what the fuck? This wasn't even in the movie. We've got a uh, baby Triceratops, it looks like. And it doesn't even look like an actual die. It looks like the toy. It looks like one of their toys. It is. It's one of their toys pasted on, pasted on their card. What is up with that? Why, why, is, why do they have the baby Triceratops toy on there? That's odd. The back of it is just a normal Triceratops. That was an odd one. That was an odd one. Oh, 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 here it is. Here it is. Uh, this is the one of the cards that I actually already own. Is the uh, Brachiosaur, the artist rendition, or whatever you want to call that. I I really like these. Uh, they're they're probably my favorite. Oh, that's so cool. I really like these. Uh, Velociraptor underneath the vents as they're calling through them. And then we have. The kids telling Ellie and Grant where the other raptors are, as Grant has now has the uh, shotgun, my favorite shotgun, the SPAS Franchi, I believe is what it's called. That was all the cards for that one. I got a second pack to open here. Okay. And first card we have is them gathered around the sick Triceratops, Ellie examining him. Along with, uh, like, our Tim, I mean. Oh, and there's the back of the Dilophosaur. Um, I don't know which ones I have in my old collection. I'll have to put them together at some point myself and see if I have uh, what I need to put them together. And, ooh, hoo, hoo, king of the dinosaurs. I think you mean queen. Um, we got T-Rex there. And her butting up against the car. Again, greatest scene ever, ever made in ever, any film. Ooh. I can hear the bellow of the T-Rex right after the scene. I just, I hear it in my head. Grant taking out the flare. And then he's going, huh? Hey! <laughs> after the bellow, it's just, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful scene. Took a lot of balls. Took a lot of balls, Grant. Uh, his hat is the one I'm going to have to get next. I, I haven't been able to find his hat. I was looking for both his and Muldoon's at the same time. And the only one I was able to find close was Muldoon's. Um, but, uh, I'll have to, I'll have to look for Grant's hat and get his as well. Hammond's dream, this says, it, it, this is him seeing the kid. Kids! Say that's, that's the, and yep, and the back of the card is, is them uh, tackling him. Oh, and we just have, this one's just, just a dino card. This one's a cool dino card of Dilophosaur, uh, Dilophosaurus. Kind of like that one. That's really, one's really cool. And then just some information on the back of it. Ooh, another artist one of the Parasaurolophus, which was only in the first movie for like a split second at the beginning with the herd of dinosaurs out grazing in the field and by the uh, pond, lake, whatever, what have you, um, which was really cool. The, the Parasaurolophus didn't have a bigger scene until the second movie, which I, I adore the second movie. I know it has its issues. I know a lot of people have its issues with it. I absolutely love that movie almost as much as the first one. Obviously, the first one is higher up there, but the second one's a close one. I really like the second one, uh, back of that card. I know people have a problem with it, but I, I, I do not. Uh, the only one I had a problem with it was the uh, the third one, which that's that's a whole different video right there. I, but uh, that's my hot take, same as everybody else's. <laughs> uh, uh, kids, the kids and Grant and them all jumping across the fossils to escape the raptors. Uh, the back of the card is just Ellie hanging on to her fossil. And then we have another scene of the kids feeding the Brachiosaur. And and the back of it is the exact same uh, feeding scene from one of the other cards. Uh, they seem to be repeating a little bit. That's okay. This one's called Rex on the Rampage, but he's not necess she hasn't necessarily... Rampage at this point? This is, just, this is just her swallowing the goat before she realizes the fence is down. That's all that is. She's not technically on the rampage yet. But I'll allow it. 
And then the uh, back of the card is uh, Allie looking up uh, in in shock. Which I would be too if I saw that big monstrosity in front of me. Beautiful, beautiful monstrosity. Not monstrosity. She's she's not a monster. She's a beautiful animal. That beautiful animal in front of me. Huge though. Terrifying. Um, I probably mentioned this in a few other videos, but uh, at least once a month I have a nightmare where I'm running from a T-Rex. Um, once a month at least. It's my worst nightmare and my favorite dream. <laughs> It it gets bad sometimes. It, sometimes it gets bad. I, I wake up in like a sweat. Uh, but that was it. That's all I had for today. Um, I wanted to share that with you guys. I got a few things. I figured it'd be cool to show you. I got a lot of dress park things lately, so I figured it'd be cool to show uh, on camera. God, I hope my mic's okay. Um, but yeah, uh, again, I know I haven't been uploading a lot recently. Uh, life's been busy between work. Um, I've been trying to get back into shape. A lot of my free time has been me going to the gym or going out for a mile run. I, I originally found out I have plantar fasciitis, so whenever I run or I've been walking for a long time, it's starting to become very painful. Um, and I've been trying to work on making that better. I've been going to the gym and I'm doing the uh, Stairmaster exercise, which works out like every single muscle I need. And I, f I can actually like feel it working. Uh, it has been doing wonders for me. I've been able to run more. Uh, it used to be that I wasn't even able to run a half mile before I would, my, my legs started, my feet started hurting incredibly bad, which shot up my legs and caused my legs to just stop working. Um, I've been able to go a full mile now before I even feel discomfort anymore. It's been amazing. Um, I was weighing at 228, which is the heaviest I've been in my entire life. I started feeling it in my cheeks and my neck. I started looking really bad on camera. I noticed it. I'm down to 220 already. I'm, I'm you know, I'm starting to shave off that um, weight. My goal is 200 pounds. Um, so it's going to be a while till I get there. So videos are going to be a little sporadic lately. Um, uh, in the future, I mean, because uh, any free time I have has been going to um, bettering myself physically, um, exercising and stuff. And then I have, I have work. I have a full-time job I have to do as well. So uh, YouTube's taking a little bit of a backseat right now. Uh, I still will be making videos. They just won't be as frequently as, as usually. I uh, hope you guys understand. Um, but I still love doing YouTube. It's my favorite pastime. I absolutely love doing this and talking to you guys. I know there's not a lot. I don't have a big following right now, but I still love sitting down here and uh, speaking with you guys. I love it, um, especially when I get a little bit of uh, interaction with you guys. I'm able to speak with you every once in a while. I, I, I live for it. Um, so I hope you, I hope this con channel continues to grow and you guys continue to come in. I'm able to talk with more of you. Um, I'm excited to do that. Uh, it, it won't happen as quickly now that I, you know, I won't be doing YouTube as much in the future a little bit, but I will be getting back into it. I will keep on it, you know, a little bit, whatever I can. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the content, whatever I put out. Uh, but thank you all so much for uh, joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe you guys didn't know these cards and stuff existed. And now you do. Like I said, I got the cards from uh, a shop called Operation Fandom. I'm sure there's other places in your guys' area that has collectibles that might be uh, selling these. But uh, that's going to do it for this episode. E episode. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.